Hello everyone, and welcome to our channel. We're excited to have you here with us today as we explore the full process of how the United States raises pigs on the farm. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Commercial sow farms are farms where mature female pigs are bred and give birth to offspring intended to go to market ultimately to be harvested. Christensen Farms has commercial sow farms located across the Midwest including Minnesota, Iowa, Nebraska, Illinois and South Dakota. To produce high-quality nutritious and safe pork for consumers within our communities and across the globe. On their commercial sow farms the story begins in the breeding barn of the farm. In the breeding barn, well-trained animal care specialists breed sows mom pigs and gilt female pigs who have never had baby pigs before. They breed them through a practice known as artificial insemination or in short AI. Specific farms called boar studs where mature male pigs are housed provide the semen for insemination. The sows and gilt that are bred will carry and grow strong healthy baby pigs or piglets for around 115 days or 3 months 3 weeks and 3 days. This time period is called the gestation. The following this gestation period, the sows and gilts are moved to an individual maternity pen in the farrowing barn or birthing room. At the sow farm where they give birth to their litter of piglets, each mother rears and takes care of approximately 12 to 14 piglets per litter. Raising healthy pigs begins immediately at birth even before a piglet is born. Workers take steps to prepare for their arrival. They clean and sanitize rooms and equipment assess people or process labor needs and ensure food and other supplies are in abundance. They also check climate control systems creating two micro-environments one cool and dry for the sow and the other warm and cozy for the piglets. As the sows and gilts give birth or in pig farming terms farrow, animal care specialists deliver care and assistance to the mother and baby pig ensuring the overall health and well-being. Almost immediately after the piglets are born, they start to nurse. The early babies are be able to get their first mother's milk known as colostrum, which help them stay healthy. The colostrum provides piglets essential nutrients and is full of natural antibodies helping support the pig's immune system and overall health. At the same time it is essential the sow receives adequate nutrition and care while she is nursing to maintain her health for the optimum performance of the piglets she rears. After about 21 days of nursing, the piglets are weaned from their mother and transferred to another farm within Christensen Farms system either referred to as a nursery or weaned to finish farm. These facilities provide weaned pigs with the proper nutrition for their age and space for their continued growth. The sows that are weaned of their piglets are moved back to the breeding barns on the farms, where they will be ready to be bred in about five days and continue the cycle of raising pigs. Christensen Farms animal care specialists focus on providing the best care and environment for their pigs every day. However much like humans, animals can fall ill and require a treatment to fight an infection. These treatments are important tools for an animal or herd in need and decisions are made in consultation with veterinarians. Housing is another important element to the overall care and well-being of their pigs while there are multiple housing options available to raise pigs. Their animals are housed indoors this provides their animals protection from harsh weather including extreme heat or frigid cold temperatures. In addition indoor housing also provides protection from predators and from heightened risks of disease. Another way they ensure their pigs grow healthy and strong is through an all-encompassing health program that is specific to each of their farm's needs. This includes biosecurity practices such as showering in and out of the farm, disinfecting supplies and even filtering the air. 
Washing and disinfecting trucks and trailers at their truck washes is another step taken to reduce the risk of disease between farms. These practices among many others help prevent the spread of diseases to their pigs. Their daily focus on pigs and their people is how they achieve their noble purpose of safely and responsibly producing high-quality pork to feed a growing world. Christensen Farms has over 350 nurseries and grow finished farm sites, where they focus on supporting the proper growth of their pigs from around 21 days of age to about 6 months old. When the piglets are weaned from their mothers at one of their company-owned sow farms, they're safely transported to a nursery barn. The pigs at the nursery farms are given a specialized diet to ensure a successful transition from their mother's milk to dry nutrient-rich feed. These small pigs are housed indoors to keep them safe from harsh environments potential predators and disease. The facilities have state-of-the-art temperature controls and ventilation systems to support the health of the pigs and keep them comfortable. Once reaching 50 to 60 pounds, the pigs at the nursery farms are moved into a finishing barn to accommodate their continued growth. Christensen Farms employees and partner farming families take care of the pigs while they grow from small weaned pigs into full-size market pigs. These partnerships allow farmers across the Midwest to preserve their family farms build equity supplement their income invest in their future and diversify their operations. Christensen Farms animal care specialists focus on providing the best care and environment for their pigs every day. However much like humans, animals can fall ill and require treatment to fight an infection. These treatments are an important tool for an animal or herd in need, and decisions are made in consultation with their veterinarians. Once pigs reach about 6 months of age or optimal market weight around 285 pounds. They are market ready in preparation for market. A team of dedicated people at Christensen Farms are responsible to select each individual pig to meet their unique customer needs ensuring that all food safety requirements are met and that the pig is fit and healthy for transportation to their packing facilities. Through the daily care and support of Christensen Farms management veterinarians and veterinary technicians, daily care specialists and contract farm families. Christensen Farms is able to successfully market over 3 million pigs each year. Primary processing is the first step in harvesting the meat fresh and frozen pork products like loins, butt roasts used for pulled pork, St. Louis, and baby back ribs and picnic roasts are packaged at the processing facility and are shipped directly to customers. Other products like bacon and hams require an additional step before they are ready to ship to grocery stores and restaurants. Christensen Farms' as ownership in these primary pork processing businesses is just another level of integration within the pork supply chain or in simpler terms, the farm-to-fork model. Pigs are ready to go to market when they reach approximately 285 pounds or 6 months of age. At this stage they are safely loaded into a live haul trailer and transported to a primary pork processing plant like Triumph Foods or STF. The trailers are specially designed to ensure the comfort and proper ventilation for the pigs during transporting events, from the warm summer months to the frigid Midwest winters. Once the trailer reaches its destination at Triumph Foods or STF, the pigs are unloaded from the trailer. As they enter the facility, the pigs are tattooed with a special ID to ensure each animal can be traced back to its farm of origin. After the pigs are safely unloaded, they are calmly moved to pens where they are given time to rest with ample access to water. After two to four hours pigs have cooled down from their journey from the farm. This is an important step prior to harvest to ensure excellent high-quality pork. Once the pigs have had ample time to rest, the beginning of the harvest process begins with stunning which means humanely bringing the pigs to an unconscious state. Once unconscious the animals are killed and moved to the next stage of the process, where skilled workers begin to prepare the carcass to be broken down further into different meat cuts. USDA inspectors check animals and their internal organs throughout various stages of the harvest process, to ensure the animals are healthy and complied with food safety requirements. After this stage the pigs are moved through a blast chiller followed by a holding cooler, where the carcasses will be stored for 24 to 48 hours before being moved to the cut floor. Once on the cut floor, 
Trained employees use special machines and knives to cut the carcass into sections such as hands, bellies and other products. Those pork products will either be exported further processed or packaged and sent directly to grocery stores, and food services such as restaurants for families to buy across the US and the globe. At primary processing and packing facilities like Triumph Foods and STF, USDA Food Safety and Inspection Service oversees and are responsible for ensuring humane handling and harvest of livestock every day, and at every step, the skilled teams at Triumph Foods and STF work hard and are committed to helping Christiansen farms fulfill their mission. By harnessing the competitive advantage of their uniquely connected food system, they can create the most sought-after pork products for a diverse set of global consumers. Christiansen Farms' history within the pork value chain includes further pork processing through its part ownership in Daly's Premium Meats. Pork products such as bacon ham and sausage require another important step before being sold to grocery stores and restaurants. To produce delicious products like bacon, specific pork cuts such as bellies are sent from the primary pork processor to a further pork processor like Daly's Premium Meats. To make bacon, raw bellies are injected with a flavored brine. These bellies then will move by overhead rail to one of three large smokehouses to be smoked to further result in a delicious smoky flavor and aid in the curing process of the bacon. In this process Dailies takes pride in being able to use hardwood smoke ships to achieve that desired flavor. With over 125 years of experience, Daly's curing methods currently produce over 20 unique bacon flavors. This variety and depth of flavors that Daly's can achieve makes their bacon a tasty and delicious product for everyone to enjoy. Once the bellies are smoked to peak perfection they go through a series of stages to be properly cooled and then sliced into bacon. The cooled pork bellies are brought to the cut floor where trained team members cut and package the bacon, to be distributed to various food service vendors, retailers and restaurants across the United States. All products made by dailies are sliced to order, meaning that the finished products are shipped out within just a few days of slicing. And in some cases even on the same day this gives all of dailies customers a fresh and tasty product. In addition to the delicious bacon produced at Daly's, they offer a complete line of hickory smoked hams, sausage links and patties and other value-added pork products to meet the needs of customers across the U.S. As part of a food system connected every step of the way from humanely raising their pigs with proper care and nutrition to processing the pork. Daly's quality control systems guarantee the products are always safe and delicious. Thank you for watching. We appreciate your time and attention. Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like, comment and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. We look forward to seeing you again soon.